All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the Save Your Equipment Specialist Covert Rifle Case. Uh, this is the 30 inch version. It's also offered in a 34 inch version as well. Uh, but we're also gonna be taking a look at some of their accessory or add-on packs uh, for this series, or you can really kind of put this on anything with some Velcro. But let's take a look at the rifle case first. So like all other Save Your Equipment stuff, Inside the box, there's going to be some targets. So I'm going to try and get those in frame here. Uh, but yeah, typically on the inside, you'll have some larger targets as well as some smaller targets, as you can see there. Pretty cool idea that they allow you to utilize the box uh, when typically you would just kind of throw it away. On to the rifle case itself. So like I said, this is the Specialist Covert case. Uh, it's kind of modeled to be somewhat of a covert design, uh, not so flashy or, you know, tactical looking, uh, but just kind of your standard looking larger backpack. So the external dimensions here are going to be 30 inches from top to bottom by 13 inches wide and five inches thick right here. And the internal dimensions are going to be 29.5 inches by 12 and a half by three. And the recommended overall length of the rifle that you want to put in here is going to be 28 inches. And then for the 34 inch model, the recommended size of rifle is a 32 inch size. So the materials here, you're going to have a couple different materials, uh, but your, your main structure of it, both the external as well as the internal shell are going to be constructed of 600 D polyester. And if you don't know anything when it comes to textile, I'll just kind of go over quick what the D stands for. It stands for denier, and it's a unit of measurement for thickness and density in fabric. So for example, uh, one strand of silk is one denier. All the seams here are going to be double stitched, as you can see right there. And that uh, is featured pretty much all the way throughout the bag, uh, and it goes on into the inside. The only places I don't see that are gonna be right here on this, uh, this material right here, spanning all the way up and down. It's kind of a rubber uh, material. And then down on the bottom is gonna be Velcro. So onto the, uh, I guess the ways that you can carry it or the different straps that are included. Obviously, you can see here, it comes with these backpack straps. Uh, it also comes with a sternum strap and these uh, backpack straps are actually concealable. Got these cutouts right here where you can go ahead and slip in uh, the different straps. Say you don't want to use the backpack straps. Uh, but you also are going to have these uh, top and bottom carry handles as well as this top carry handle. So let's discuss the external storage compartments. It's comprised of three different storage compartments on the front side only. So up top here, you're going to have a zippered pocket, non-lockable, and inside of there are going to be a couple of uh, elastic straps or bands. Uh, you could throw whatever in there, something you need to tie down, some cords or uh, whatever you want to put in there, some pins. On this side, it's going to be smaller elastic organizing straps there. Right here is going to be, again, a non-lockable zippered pouch. And this one is going to zip pretty much all the way down. And inside you're going to be met with some molly webbing. So you can put any of your molly attachments in here, you know, like your cleaning kits or something like that. And then up top is going to be non-lockable mesh zippered pockets. And there's two of those and these are not connected. And then you've got another one up here. And there is one more pocket on the front side of the case and that's gonna be right here. So underneath there, you can see this little uh, pull tab right here, and it's gonna be Velcro right there. So this is kind of a hidden pocket. Uh, you know, if you wanted to throw a, a holstered uh, pistol in there, it's a nice concealable pocket that isn't gonna, you know, bulk out uh, due to these, this front pocket here. Um, it is pretty much three quarters the length of the bag, so I can kind of fit my whole arm inside of there. So let's move on to the inside of the bag. The main compartment is comprised of a lockable zipper. 
So you've got this hole right there. And these are gonna zip all the way, uh, kind of going all the way down. So you can unfold this completely uh, flat and lay it down all the way. So we'll start off with the side where you would probably throw the your rifle in. Uh, so right here is gonna be a muzzle protector. It's kind of a hard shell material. I'll get a close up of that real quick. Right there. And so this would be where your muzzle end would go. Uh, you know, basically if you have a, a light or something like that, it'll be protected in this hard shell muzzle holder here. Over here, you're gonna have two wide tie down straps and these are Velcro. And then right here, you're gonna have this kind of little tab that is not Velcro. Kind of nice to see that. Uh, so you don't have to fight with the Velcro there. And again, uh, somewhat molly webbing. This isn't as thin as you would typically see molly webbing, but you can kind of place these tie down straps wherever you'd like. Let's move on to the other side. And this is gonna be divided by a removable uh, divider. So you can see right here, this is Velcroed on at the, I guess, seam right here. And the divider is held down via these two clips. And this side, I, I will note, is kind of like a mi microfiber uh, material. I'll get a close up if you can possibly see that there. And this just flaps open like that. So inside of here, you're gonna be met with a ton of molly webbing and Velcro uh, inside of here, as, long, as well as two thinner in diameter tie down straps. These again, also feature those pull tabs so you can undo them pretty easily. So I would assume this side would be your accessory side. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move this back to the side and then we'll go over the accessory kits that I have and then install those and kind of show you how they look. So the accessories I have for this today are gonna be the pistol holder or pistol holster. And I'll just kind of take these out one by one. And a battery holder mag holders. These are going to be the extended versions. They also have uh, AR mag holders uh, and kind of your standard size uh, Glock mag holders as well. And then this again is just another uh, two times extended mag holder. So let's get some close-ups of those. These are elastic uh, on the sides right here. So they are pretty much going to fit any of your standard you know, PCC style magazines. On the side here, you're gonna have a little tab with the Savior logo right there. And it does have this pull strap right here so that you can kind of pull this back uh, to get your mags loaded in uh, for the first time. And also on the bottom is gonna be a stop uh, to prevent you from over inserting the magazines. And these are gonna have Velcro on the back side, And it does feature a polymer plate uh, in between the Velcro and the back, and the back side of the mag holder here to kind of keep it rigid. Over here is going to be the battery holder. And so this is going to feature two Velcro pull tabs and a mesh bag right here to kind of keep your, your batteries in one place. I know a lot of times I'll go to the range and let's say one of my uh, optic batteries die or my light battery dies. Uh, this would just be something nice to have in the bag. And again, these are Velcro and they also feature that uh, hard polymer insert to keep everything pretty rigid. And over here is gonna be the pistol holder. And this is just kind of a generic size uh, pistol holster to kind of get you something to secure your handgun uh, for that bag specifically, uh, because it doesn't really have a, any way to retain a handgun and kind of block the trigger from being actuated. But yeah, I figured I'd check this out, take a look at it how it works and uh, let's get the bag back up here we'll install some of those accessories and I'll show you how they look all right I got those accessory uh, kits mounted in here and I've got everything kind of put away how I might like it I might end up changing it around after going to the range a couple times with it but yeah let's take a look at it so over here I've got my Glock OEM mags OD green and those fit very nicely in there and over here is gonna be Magpul 21 round magazines. These ones don't necessarily go all the way to the bottom, but due to the floor plate, they do stop right there. So they're easily uh, grabbable like, like so. 
And over here, I've got the battery case. I've got some double A's over on this side. And then over on the other side, I've got a single CR123 battery. Very nice little storage compartment there. And over here, the holster, pretty surprised. Uh, this is the Palmetto State Armory dagger. And so it's got this kind of retention strap right here. And Velcros, and then these two Velcro left and right. Fits very nicely in there. I imagine it would probably pretty much fit any handgun of similar size. So going over to the main gun compartment, you've got these two straps here. You can maneuver them wherever you'd like. Uh, this one back here I've got for the stock position. This one right here is going to cover the trigger and obviously the muzzle. So here's the pistol caliber carbine I do plan on using with this bag. What I typically like to do is take the muzzle protector, kind of fold it like this, place the muzzle inside, and kind of work my way back. And it's an extremely secure fit. It's not going anywhere. That's pretty much how I would set my pistol caliber carbine up. If you guys have any questions on the Save Your Equipment Specialist Covert Series bag, uh, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you for watching.